What's up, y'all? This is part one of me making an album by myself for the first time. What's up, y'all? So, um, I'm making an album. My name is uh, Colin Roach, and I like to make music. And right now I'm working on an album called Reasons. And I'm gonna talk about my experience so far making it. First of all, this is my setup. I got my focus right my headphones and my computer. And then I also got this mic set up and it all came together, all these pieces, which is really cool. And I got it for a pretty good deal. I got my guitars and uh, yeah. This is basically what I've been using in my room and I'm trying to make an album with these things um, by myself. Basically, um, so far I've been making all my songs in GarageBand, <laughs> um, which has been going pretty well, but I'm like realizing now that GarageBand is like, a demo version to their like big program. I forgot the name of it. I don't know, it's some, something, something that they have that's pretty cool. But instead, I got FL Studio. But I'm gonna talk about what I've been doing in GarageBand because I got a lot of stuff in GarageBand already that's like basically done, but I need to mix it in FL Studio. Basically, this has been my setup um, this whole time. I've been making all my songs in GarageBand and um, I've just been plugging it into my focus right and um, recording like that this whole time, but I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna change my ways. I'm gonna use some better uh, technology to do this. Basically what I got here is like um, five songs. That it's a burden, ball fly, lines to you, erasing, want to, lines the same. I guess a few more than five. My next step is taking all these songs and putting them into FL Studio and trying to mix them, but I don't really know what I'm doing. The way that I've been making um, these songs on my iPad is just like going by ear and just like listening to the different things, the presets that um, they have in GarageBand and then just like playing my guitar with it as well. Um, and it's been going pretty well, but it's like, I know there are better sounds out there that I can get on like FL Studio. So I kind of want to change them or mess around with them in FL Studio, but I have to figure out how to um, download the files right. A part of me like just doesn't want to move the songs over to FL Studio because I'm like, it's been pretty easy on GarageBand. It's simple, it's nice, and it's like I'm scared to try and hop in FL Studio because I know it's gonna be harder and I'm gonna have to learn a bunch of random crap probably. But I'm willing to give it a shot. I want this album to be good, so I'm gonna try to make it good. <clears throat> so I'm in FL Studio right now, and um, I've been messing around with it a bit so far, and it's honestly not too bad. It's, um, a lot easier than I thought it would be. There's just so much to look at and it's like um, kind of a lot to take in, but I'm figuring it out slowly. Yo, so I got um, one of my songs in FL Studio and I was messing around with some of these like vocal things. Um, and I'm trying to like make this song sound crispy and like the right volume, but I think I got it to where I want it to be. It wasn't too bad to get the song onto it either from GarageBand. I just had to save as the WAV file. It seems like it sounds pretty good through my headphones. And so I'm gonna just keep doing that with the rest of the songs that I have in GarageBand. Um, and then I'm gonna start making the rest of the new songs in FL Studio, I think. Yo, I'm, uh, I'm working on this song. I think I'm gonna call it Why. Um, but dude, FL Studio is dope. I'm sort of just like layering different things, using like the different uh, instruments that they have in it to make like some crazy beat. And it's pretty cool. And I recorded my voice with it too as like a quick run just to come up with something cool. Um, and dude, FL Studio is dope. Yeah, I can only wonder why it's great to see you smile. Say goodbye. I can only wonder why. It's great to see you smile. Here's another one that I'm working on a little bit. I'm passing you by, and I don't mean to. I wanna say hi, but something about me is shaking my mind. But I close my soul. Making an album by myself, it's more than just me learning how to make an album. It's like, this is my chance to, 
talk about myself and my life and make music while I'm doing it and it's only me. If I had someone working on it with me, I'm not not to say I wouldn't be good, but or couldn't be good, but um doing it by myself is a whole different world where it's just me, just my thoughts, just my sound, just my album cover, just my description, just my everything. Everything is gonna be just by me. I want it to be something that's actually my creation all the way, you know? It's been a pretty good experience. Um, I have so much to learn and I don't know how to produce music, but I'm gonna learn and this album isn't gonna be perfect. Um, but I'm willing to keep learning and keep getting better as I go about it, you know? Um, I think that this album will be good to my standard and I'll be happy with it and that's you know, really all that matters at the end of the day. If you want to try to make some music, if you want to try to get into it yourself and make something, you can make it on your own. I got this equipment here for like 200 bucks and I have my laptop and um, you get a cheap guitar somewhere. You don't even need a guitar. If you don't want to use a guitar, you don't have to. The point is, is you can make an album, you can make a song even and just put it online if you want to. Um, no one's gonna tell you what you can and can't do and if you have the time, you should give it a shot instead of waiting and waiting and waiting. Um, because it probably will never happen if you don't just start. Um, so I'm gonna keep making this album, see where it goes, see if it turns out how I want it to at the end of the day. I hope that if you enjoyed this video, um, that you'll stick around for the journey. I'm gonna keep doing uploads, talking about my progress and um, what I'm working on and how it's going and when the drop date is. Whoops. But yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, uh, are interested in what I'm doing, um, hit the like <laughs> button, and thank you for watching this video.